Hello and welcome everyone, Laha here with part one of my new Vampire Coast Let's Play with Count Noctilus, the Total War Warhammer 2. Thanks to everyone that voted in the Legendary Lord poll. As you can see, Noctilus won, but I'll likely do another Vampire Coast Let's Play with another Legendary Lord at some point in the future. Big thanks to Creative Assembly for providing me with early access of the Curse of the Vampire Coast DLC so that I could start this Let's Play early for you guys. I'll be uploading this campaign every other day or so to start with for the next week or so, and then it'll become a regular Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday upload. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the uploads. Just be sure to hit the bell icon when you do subscribe and check receive all notifications, as by default it's set to occasional, silly YouTube. Uh, down in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section, you'll find a link to the unit name suggestion QT for this series. That is the place to leave your name suggestions for units, lords, heroes in this series. Feel free to drop in as many Pirates of the Caribbean references as you want. Yahar! Uh, just remember that when you do leave a name suggestion on the QT, to tag the suggestion as the... A correct unit type for the name that you're leaving. For example, if you leave a unit name suggestion for a unit of Depth Guard, uh, tag the comment as Melee Infantry. That way it's much easier for me to find and makes the whole custom unit naming thing go a lot smoother and occur more regularly. As always, with all my new series, I offer you guys the opportunity for an early hour special at part 5, if we can hit 2,000 likes on parts 1, 2, 3, and 4. It is completely optional, so if you're enjoying the content and you want to see an early hour special at part 5, then feel free to leave a like. But if you're not enjoying the content and you don't want to leave a like, then feel free to leave a dislike. I do hour specials every 10 episodes anyway, this is just an optional extra for those that want an early hour special at part 5. And finally, before we go through Count Noctis' traits, bonuses, and starting units, I should mention that that I'm not allowed to show you guys the intro cinematic for the Vampire Coast today. I'll show it to you guys likely in part 3 on Monday or Tuesday next week. Uh, this is pretty much the only restriction from the early access, uh, which of course does have a few bugs and graphical glitches here and there, but they should all be sorted by November 8th when the DLC launches for everyone. So, uh, let's go through the faction effects. We are the Dreadfleet. We have initial challenge of easy, and we gain war declaration missions with unique rewards. Uh, pirate crew recruitment capacity plus two. Recruitment duration minus one turn for Necrofex Colossus units, minimum one. Lord effects, uh, minus 20% upkeep for Necrofex Colossus units in Lord's Army, and weapon strength plus 15% for large units in Lord's Army. We start with an additional unit of Depth Guard, uh, Necrofex Colossus, and Zombie Pirate Gunnery Mob. We're going to be playing this on very hard, very hard difficulty, and our race attributes as a member of the Vampire Coast are Infamy and Loyalty, Destroy, sack, and raid to build a reputation at sea whilst keeping ambitious commanders loyal and trustworthy by imparting riches and wealth to them. Pirate coves gain infamy and leech wealth from unsuspecting settlement owners where these hideouts have been formed. An extra powder boosts the firepower missile units can output in battle while they have high levels of ammunition at their disposal. So I think that's everything we need to look at before we crack on and begin the let's play. So again, I can't show you guys the intro video, but I'll show it later on in this series. So without further ado, let's begin. The Galleon's Graveyard. The raging power of the Maelstrom makes me all but untouchable. Only a fool would dare challenge me here. The deluded Caladorian elves have launched patrols into the great ocean. For this, they shall feel my wrath. The long-limbed cretins are ever prepared for invasion with much of Ulthwan heavily fortified, particularly their ostentatious capital, Lothurn. While I bolster my fleet for invasion, the shores of Araby offer other delectable targets, whose riches I will gladly take. The hapless Luther Harkon dwells nearby, a fellow Lord of the Night may be a useful ally, but his unstable mind also makes him a potential threat. Nothing, however, 
is as important as the magic I draw from the Galleon's graveyard. I shall harness its strength and dominate the seas. All shall bow to my necromantic supremacy. Okay, thanks for the intro, Noctilus. How they play, the Dreadfleet. Aminar, beneath the waves an ancient beast stirs, having laid dormant for millennia. Many seek to kill it, while others wish to command its almighty strength themselves. Only through the use of an ancient sea shanty and a legendary weapon can you hope to fell the creature and satisfy this campaign's victory conditions. Pirate crews and shipbuilding. Enlist and expand your crew via pirate settlements or from your legendary lord's flagship. Your lord operates as a mobile fighting and construction platform independent from normal empire building and able to recruit or construct from their flagship at sea or on land without the need of a settlement. Infamy. To become a legendary pirate you must first acquire infamy through your actions. Defeating armies, capturing settlements, and establishing pirate coves will increase your infamy levels. In doing so, your ranking on the list of infamous pirates will improve, rising towards the top and drawing the attention of legendary pirates in possession of the powerful verses of the Lost Sea Shanty needed for victory. Finally, pirate coves. Pirate coves can provide a steady income and other benefits from settlements owned by other factions. These coves can be secretly developed at any port settlement, leeching from the current occupants, though they will be blissfully unaware of your activities. First mission, trespassers, uh, trespassers be damned. Defeat the following lord's army in battle. Mary of uh, Calador. And we'll get Powered by Death. Campaign map movement range plus 100% for five turns. Lovely. Riddle of the Mapmaker mission issued. Find the hidden treasure by solving the treasure map's riddle using Dig for Treasure with your army or hero. Description. While dragons sleep, a furnace fires the maker's warbles left for his sires. Reward is plus 2,000 treasury and plus 150 infamy. The wreck of the vengeance has been found, Admiral. Yet not by us, it would seem. A Corsair fleet has been sighted where the vessel went down. They must not be allowed to salvage her. Okay, thank you, advisor. The search for the vengeance. The wreck the search for the wreck of the vengeance is underway, and using the map we gained from the shop in Sartosa, we have set sail to the shallow seas of the Dragon Spine. However, upon arrival, we have spotted a ship flying the flag of the sunken land Corsairs. What these pirates are doing at this very location is unknown. It is perhaps a coincidence, but regardless, they stand before us and the wreck of the vengeance. And more importantly, the star metal harpoon sunk within her. The reward will be the star metal harpoon required to achieve campaign victory and plus 7,000 treasury. Okay, right, well, we'll go through all the various uh, kind of new features, menus, rights, and what have you in a moment. But first off, we're going to crack on and crack some skulls, crack some high elf skulls by sending Noctilus in there. Although, can we raise any interesting units? Ooh, a bloated corpse. Let's get one of those. And strike. We will, of course, fight this one so we can take a look at the... Uh, the units that we have. Let's dive on in. Take our time with this first turn so we can go through infamy, uh, rights, research, take a look at the building tree and what have you. This episode is, of course, if you haven't already noticed, an hour long as well. So uh, we'll have plenty of time to get through some more turns. 21 Winds of Magic. Start deployment. Don't need to gamble that. So let's, um, actually first let's deploy our troops, Captain. and then, um, then we'll take a look at them all. Let's pop the zombie pirate gunnery mob on the flanks. Depth guard, I'm going to pop you guys here. Necrofex Colossus, pop you, actually all the way over there. Bloated corpse, I'm assuming... I remember reading about these guys, but 
Yeah, they they explode with the sole purpose of causing carnage. This monster will explode on contact with the enemy. Nice. Asius demise. Noxious disintegration. And they're, they're a siege attacker as well, so we can just, I assume we can just throw them at gates and they'll blow up gates. That's awesome. Definitely got time for that. Um, well, I'm guessing we don't want you shot to pieces before we can throw you into battle, so let's form them up. And now let's have a quick little looky at the various models. Let's start with the gunnery mob. The Well, these guys are the deckhands, I believe. Yeah, deckhand mob. I'm so hyped when they announce this DLC. I've wanted zombie pirates forever. And this is just brilliant. <laughs> They've got barnacles over their eye patches. <laughs> Got got a couple of daggers in your back there, mate. Yar. I be McBarnacle. Yah. Oh my god. I've seen the uh, depth guard. That armor is just gorgeous. And your dual axe infantry. Hello. They look awesome. Count Noctilus himself looks Insane. Not as insane as Harkon, though. <laughs> he looks awesome. I don't really know much about him lore-wise, but I did read that he was once Niklaus von Karstein. But I don't really know what happened to him, so I'll, I'll have a read-up or check out some of the comments you guys leave this episode. Find out uh, how he came to be. Oh, let's take a look at that bloated corpse. Our explosive friend. <laughs> you look just like the um, zombie they pulled out of the well in The Walking Dead. Some swords in you, some arrows. Nice. Do you just do you just fart a bit? Wow. There's the uh, gunnery mob. Cutlasses and pistols ready to go. And let's take a look at the uh, our, literally a living ship. Although it looks like the <laughs> holes in the hull have been plugged with corpses. And there's a couple of uh, zombie musketeers in the rigging and in the crow's nest. That's awesome. Cannon for an arm. Love it. Sweet. Well, um, I just want to actually check the stats for the depth guard because there's only 60 of them and there are elite infantry. Berserker axe infantry. 54 melee attack and 64 weapon strength. Wow, okay. Anti-infantry, armoured and aquatic. Okay, so they excel fighting in water environments. They're like shallow pools. Sweet! Okay, right. I've had a I've had a good enough look at everything. Hopefully we'll get some close-ups in this battle as well. But let's um march them all forward. In fact, I'm gonna run you guys forward. That Death Guard just looks so cool. Wow, the pirate mob is really rather slow. What should I expect? Their meat shields. Cheap and cheerful. Oh, they've got cavalry coming. Oh, no bloated corpse, get back. I don't want you being charged. On you exploding in my own troops. Victory's in our grasp already. Gunnery mob. Gunnery mob. We'll stop those guys over there. Let's, um,. See if we can't throw the bloated corpse into all these spears. I'm assuming we don't want our own troops caught up in the explosion. Oh, he's running at them arms out. He just wants to be a friend. Oh, my days. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of fun. Oh, what's this? What have I just cast? Wraith Storm. Oh, that's cool. I've killed some of my own units, but done some damage there. 
Hopefully dealing with the spears okay. Hopefully the Death Guard are going to shred them. You guys... Oh. Cast your spells. Go attack those archers if you wouldn't mind. Necrofex. Colossus. Okay, at least blast them a bit more. Gunnery mob pull back. Oh yeah, they've gone over there. Gunnery mob. Oh, they've rallied. Taking out those archers. I don't think I can quite get over that bloated corpse. Arms out, just wanting a hug. <laughs> and then it belly flopped onto them. Gunnery mob. Gunnery mob. <laughs> That's it. Just keep slaying. They've gone. Oh, they're all about to break. Go, go, go. Chase them down. Guess we're going to have to charge after them. Either this turn or next. Pop another one of these strikes down. Oh, that looks really cool. Yeah, I've got time for that. You keep firing on that one. I want to see you fire, actually. I've not seen you fire. Here we go. Pew pew! Oh, nice! That's some damage. Decisive victory. Lovely stuff. Got 49 kills, the uh, bloated corpse. I think their cavalry's probably survived because they broke rather early. Yeah, so we just lost the bloated corpse, obviously, as it blew itself up. And we've got the choice to assimilate captives for replenishment, share the loot. Oh, we got a power stone. Nice. Yeah, we can share the loot, plus one loyalty. I know that's uh, an important mechanic to play for the other lords that obviously aren't our legendary lord. So we'll probably want to save that for one of those. It costs us infamy. It does give experience. And obviously ransom captives. Uh, let's go for assimilate captives for now. They're going to run on off. Guessing I can't reach them this turn. Powered by death. Power stone. Ooh, yeah, you're, so you're, you're a spellcaster. <gasps> Pit of Shades and Wind of Death. That is just gorgeous. Yar, I be happy with those spells. <laughs> uh, horns waggle. Interesting. We've got some good uh, melee buffs as well. Master of the Dread Fleet. Generative Hull. Vandal of the Von Karstein line. Sea Curse, Invincible Fleet. Those look cool. Oh, he gets a Necrofex Colossus mount at 20. Sweet. And he'll get Captain Roth's Moondial. Cool. But Root Marcher first. Always Root Marcher. Oh, I was hoping we get the Bloated Corpse. Let's grab those guys. Uh, can't reach you this turn. We'll go into flagship expansion then. Obviously, we have a whole building browser for our ship, the Bloody Reaver. Oh, we, actually, we can actually upgrade our, our top gallants. Nice. Tiller. Hull. Heavy ballast. Oh, we can get a dart launch launcher, a unique, unique uh, building. Sweet. Um, what do I want? I'm um, thinking. Then meat shield. 
fire whilst moving. How do they compare to regular ones? I mean, they're all meat shields. 17, 15, 29. Are they the same there? Oh no, the defense is like non-existent. I think I'm going to go through the... Hmm, i go through the spa deck first. I want to get more missile. More missile units look good. The gunnery mob with handguns. They've got decent range of them. Arm-piercing missiles. And what have they got? Special range weapon. Bombers. That also looks pretty good. Let's go for that. Holes in the side. And we'll upgrade from the general cabin to the officer's cabin. Nice, nice. Um, we get here. We can get the deck mob. I can't recruit any. Are we in? Okay, no. Global. Oh, we're in camps. Okay, yeah. That's fine. So, Galleon's Graveyard. What's our landmark building here? Wreck of the Helden Hammer. Nice. Port building, and we've got the Maelstrom itself. Dormant, stirring, active, powerful, and raging. Nice. So, yeah, plenty of recruitment buildings. Advanced military. Plunder pile. 100 income. Uh, income from buildings plus 20% all regions in this province. And increases treasury generated from the curse of the bountiful treasure, right? What's that? Look at our rights. Curse of the bountiful treasure. Plus 500 for every building owned from the buried treasure chain. Is that that whole section? Buried treasure. Nice. So if we keep building these everywhere, that right's going to really increase our income rather nicely. Income from buildings plus 100%. Income from ports plus 30%. Wow, okay. Definitely worth grabbing some, uh, some settlements then. Let's have a look at research. Command, firepower, salvage, and legendary admiral. So, normal lords that we recruit don't get their own ships to build out of, like uh, Noctilus can. But these guys all can. But they cost a thousand infamy. Salvage crews, casualty replenishment. Let's go for that casualty replenishment. Is there more? Charge bonus, casualty replenishment. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna go through that first. Then maybe. This looks like it gives us we can come from ports in infrastructure. Well maybe we should up for leadership. No, let's get the casualty replenishment and then go over to that. Sweet. Okay, what else haven't we looked at? We haven't looked at offices. Required rank five, loyalty five. Five, 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 eight and five, ten and five. So yeah, we definitely need to keep our loyalty up. And Count Noctilus, currently Admiral of the Fleet. Income from sacking settlements, plus 15%. Lovely. Yeah, we'll look at more of the offices when we've got lords actually pop in there. The other rights, we've got Curse of the Sea Mist. Curse of the Queen's Cannon, which lets us get a Queen Bess. And Curse of Eternal Service. That gives us, yeah, loyalty increase and stuff. And that causes uh, attrition. Uh, awesome. Okay, so that's like the um, Tomb King Sandstorm. Get, we cause attrition through a cursed mist. Nice. Uh, what else haven't we checked? We haven't checked out Infamy up here. So we're right at the bottom, but through various actions we can improve our Infamy. And the pirates at 7, 4, and rank 1 all have sea shanty verses which will then go in up here to give us army abilities which start off at plus 20 melee defense plus 20 reload skill then it goes to plus 30 and plus 40 for 30 seconds as an army ability that's really nice sweet uh, let's take a look at the victory objectives i'm going to be going for the campaign victory in this let's play so we'll be seeking to acquire the star metal harpoon gain all three verses of the lost sea shanty construct the harpoon launcher ship building and win the following battle the battle of the eternal tides there is a domination victory but we're going to focus on the campaign victory for this series other than that let's just check diplomacy and then i think we're finally ready to end the turn so, neutral with the boys of the Forbidden Coast down here. Luther Harkon. Luther Harkon. 
One Can we trade? Wants to hear you speak. Another wants to kill you. <laughs> nice. His fractured mind. Non aggression? Out of the question. No, okay. Fine. Not right now. So yeah, we're at war with the Sunken Land Corsairs, which are on top of the Wreck of the Vengeance. And the Star Metal Harpoon. And we're at war with Kalidor, which uh, we have uh, we have that mission to go take them out. And we've got the Riddle of the Mapmaker. Oh yeah, that's the one the other thing I didn't check. Treasure maps. While dragons sleep, a furnace fires. The maker's baubles left for his sires. And it's got a question mark in a, an area to check. Which if we zoom to, yeah, it's, it's Vol's Anvil. That's what the riddle is po pointing to. So if we go and dig for treasure there, we should get uh, something nice. And pieces of eight unlock our various regiments of renown. Pearl of the Kraken Sea is the closest one. Oh, that's the boys of the Forbidden Coast. I guess we could try and go after them. I, we probably... I guess we should go after these guys soonish. Although I don't know. I mean, I assume no one else is going to go and take them out. They're Dark Elves by the look of things. We probably need to build up our forces because all we've got is basic mob units at the moment. So they're probably going to need to get better troops. Anyway, I think that's everything we can possibly do this to... Oh, no, it's not. We've got a commandment available. Dredge the sea. We do probably want some growth to upgrade our maelstrom. They were not Share the spoils. Even more powder. And bat swarms. Let's go for uh, dredge the sea. Get some growth in there. Now we'll end the turn. Graveyard is my ocean realm, from which I strike at the mortal world. First, I need to slay these high elf fools who insolently encroach upon my empire. Once they are dispatched, I shall gather my strength and take their homeland for myself. Okay, so Noctilus suggesting we go after their own territory, and that links in with our mission that we've just been issued. Capture and occupy a settlement belonging to the following faction, Kalidor. Well, we do need to go over for that treasure map as well at Vol's Anvil. So, uh, I guess that's possibly where we're we're heading this way. We might I guess we could dart near these guys, see if we can take them on. If not, we'll focus on taking out the elves. But let's um, finish them off here first. Can we raise any more dead? Oh, we can get another bloated corpse. Good. It's just if I means. Kill, kill, kill. Ah, oh, your wusses. Raise anger. Wipe them out. Kill or be destroyed, minions. Kill them. Raise them. I am all. Our infamy increases. Ooh, a skull island. That is quite out of our way, though. There is an island right next to these guys. Oh, there's one up here. You know, I might go and grab that, actually, first, before we go that way to give us some more money. Plus, it'll give us more time to raise some more dead and up our forces. Oh, we can get loads of bloated corpses now. And gunners, yep. Yeah. Want some of you guys? I think I'll leave that Scarlet Island for now. Where did that um, pieces of eight army go, though? They've disappeared. What you want? Curse my Have you come to grovel before you? Why do you pester? Oh, I need to give you some money. This smells fishy. It smells fishy. Okay, you're not interested right now. Um, I mean, that's built up our forces quite nicely, but yeah, let's go. Let's just go over here because we can go grab it next turn, I reckon. Replenish up a bit. And. More replenishment would be nice, but I want to start going through these spells so that we can unlock uh, Wind of Death. 
soon as possible. That's going to be lots of fun. Galleon's Graveyard. Three turns until we get uh, Surplus. It's fine. And yeah, Treasure Map's still doing its thing. Cool. Uh, I guess we, we don't really need, need to raise up another Lord just yet. We can't recruit any heroes. So, end the turn again. Suitable climate, the open sea. <laughs> I can do it in normal stance, can't I? Good. Island Song. Ah, yes. I read this as part of the updates in the kind of patch alongside the DLC. So this will happen whether you buy the DLC or not. Uh, when you go for one of these islands, sometimes you'll get the reward straight away as you used to. But sometimes this will happen where you've got a chance to explore the island and you may have to defeat a foe in battle and you'll get a great hoard of treasure. Or you can wait and essentially the enemy that is wandering around the island will wander off and then you can go and take what's ever left of the treasure. I'm going to explore the island. Oh my days. I should have totally checked to see if I could raise some troops as well, I just realised. They've got depth guard with pole arms. Two units of zombie pirate deck hand mob with pole arms, and they've got a rotting leviathan. I wonder though if I kill it, if I've got a chance of um, raising it up though. Well, uh, let's what fight the battle. Battle of the Great Ocean. They've got a fair few missiles. I've got more infantry than they do, so I'm hoping I can get in do some damage to them. That Leviathan, I'm just going to try and tie up with these guys. If we throw in the bloated corpses at enough of them, hopefully that should shred their troops. Let's gamble. Good, good. Because they've got missile troops, and I've got missile troops. Let's just... Um... Actually, no. Where's their depth guard? They've got her over here, as is the Rotting Leviathan. Let's take a look at that. Feeling a bit crabby today? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Wow, that looks cool. GG, Creative Assembly, modelers, artists, and animators. Top job. Oh, there's some blue sludge and slime coming out your mouth. That's fun. Defender. Pinning enemy there. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to save these handgunners then for that, for this right flank. You guys take up the center. You go that side as well. Bloated corpses all through here. Depth guard over there. Noctilus. In the middle, and we've got the power stone as well. Go, go, go. Get that rotting Leviathan, please. Kapow. We've got hand cannons, which don't sound like they're going to be much fun. Oh, cool. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, you go into that depth guard. He just wants to give you a hug. He just wants to give you a hug. Oh, 
Oh, yes. What a hug. Oh, he's going in for the hug too. Nice. And that was the other one over there as well, wasn't it? Right, charge forward, guys. Go, go, go. No, he can't because he's engaged in combat. Oh, what was that? I think that's Law of the Depths. Yar, we'll fell this great sea monster. Ha <laughs> ha. You need some healing. Keep shooting it. Depth guard, go. Oh, avoid. Oh, it went the, the other way. Not most of them over, though. That's fine. Hit that one. Because you're vampires, you'll all just crumble away, won't you? It's going down. Dar, she blows, Captain. Hello, beastie. Nice. That's going to be all of them. Yeah, crumbling away. Please let me raise one of those. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Yeah, we those <laughs> bloated corpses. Eighty four, ninety. You only got thirty three, but still, definitely worth doing. Um, it's only three percent replenishment. I can't. I'm thinking we're gonna. I'm gonna ransom them. What do we get from here? Good sea captain. I'm glad I'm a good sea captain. A new map, admiral. Oh. Can its riddle be solved? We gain another treasure map. Island Song. Sweet. Mission issued. Okay, so we've got to dig for it. It is not X that marks a spot, but the scrawls etched by ancients are long thought lost. We'll get the Giant's Blade and 2,500. Does that also give a bit of a clue? Yeah, it does, that way. I guess it's to help you, because otherwise, if you're not super versed in the law, you probably wouldn't know what these mean. Riddles of Ranald. That's definitely Vol's Anvil, I'm sure of it. Mainly because that's where it's going over to. Ah, oh, we can't get a... I was hoping we get a corpse of that one. I'm not going to actually get another gunnery mob. I'm going to get these guys, though. They're good because the handguns have got 145 range and they're armor-piercing. I mean, there is a Skull Island up here. Part of me says we should go for it. But we also won't replenish if we do. Um, you've leveled up as well. That is summons a unit of zombie pirate gunnery mob. Good at flanking. Degrades over time. Withering. Oh, invocation of Nahek. Uh, of undeath. That's passive ability, isn't it? Allies in range. I'm going to go for drown dead first. I can recruit more of those guys, actually. Okay, let's let's go up here then. 
Please let me get some bloated corpses, because they were kind of instrumental in my uh, my last battle. But if not, we'll just throw mob spam at them. <laughs> Screw the game objectives. We're treasure hunting all day long. Can't build anything here. We've got a lot of money, though. I mean, I guess we... Things if we recruit that, estimated upkeep drops. So, probably not for now, then. Let's just save our money for upgrades. We could go and claim Tor and Rock, but I don't know if we can actually hold on to that just yet. I don't know if we can set up a pirate cove in these places as well if they're not already occupied, so... I won't risk it. I like how the end turn is now like a cannon shot as well. That's cool. We've got our research. And I kind of do want that extra replenishment rate. Let's grab that, then we'll go back through command. Any bloated corpses. There's more regular infantry, so... Merge you guys. Oh, no. Wrong one. Throw you in there. I'm imagining there's an army here. Yep. Yeah. You will face a foe in battle. Raid the cove. Hidden pirate cove. Only a uh, misery horde of treasure will be received. Um, okay. R raid the cove. Oh, this there is significant pirate prince, so there may also be colossal wealth. Oh, my days. That is a lot of Death Guard, and I have no bloated corpses to go after them. Uh-oh. They've got lots of cannons. Well, we've committed to it, so... See it through. Might be a little bit outgunned. A rotting Leviathan, yeah, that any corpse, bloated corpses. Um, where are all those depth guard with pole arms? Oh, oh there, there's some of them are over there. I said let's have these guys over here focusing on the Leviathan. Along with that, deck hands. Deck hands. To support. And just loads of gunnery mob over here. Go, they've got artillery, so they know we've got to move in. Heal up. Noctilus. We can get four units of drowned dead. Oh, that turns them into gunnery mob. Okay, rather than just deck hands. If I can take out their cannons, how difficult is that? See how effective that is against artillery. Ooh, that's quite good. Necrofex Colossus. See, I'm gonna 
I'm just going to hold here, because if they're not going to move in with those guys, I'm going to focus on this side and then swing on round. getting healed. God damn it. Yeah, maybe we can use that on the rotting leviathan. Yeah, that carronade's nearly down. Now they're coming. We've got to be really close to spawn them in. Just keep firing, just keep firing, just keep firing. Let's fire at the depth guard, please. Just keep firing. Keep firing, just keep firing. Him to crumble. Pull you guys back. Just keep blasting, just keep blasting. Kill all the cannons, kill all the cannons. Now 
Nice. No. Gunnery mob pull back. Colossus. Just keep firing. That's it. Take out those cannons. Yeah, that one's crumbling to death. Just the depth guard to deal with over here then. Go, 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 go. Pull you guys in. Starting to tip towards being in our favor. You're out of ammo, so... Go smash it. We've got to go hit the... Uh, depth guard in the back. all that depth guard if I can help it but they're crumbling Break them. Yeah, we lost the depth guard. Rip. Come on, keep firing. Break them. Colossus is waning. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Oh, nice. What was that? How did you guys spawn? Warriors rally. Nice. That's it. Just draw them across my missile line. That one's nearly down. It's crumbling. There we go. They're all going to break. Victory's in our grasp. Oh my days. That was by the seat of my pants. The whole time. Oh ho ho ho. I'm hoping we get a good prize from this, because I did lose my depth guard. There we go. That's him gone. Woo. Oh, I've not been that worried for a while. <laughs> that would have been a, uh, a good start to the Let's Play. Get wiped out. Yeah, they did a lot of damage. We had the cannons. But we did just manage to win. Hoping that maybe we'll get lucky and be able to raise some depth guard. Considering so many fought here and so many were lost. But we'll see. Um 
I mean, replenishment's not really going to do much at this point, so let's just ransom captives. Earthing rod and 20,000. Hello. Oh, god damn it. Can't get any of the things I want, though. Okay, well, we definitely push things too far there, so let's pull him back to Galleon's graveyard, and we'll build him back up. Then I think we should probably, I guess we should head over and take a look at what's going on over here, and then strike at uh, Kalidor. That was a fun little detour. We really need, we really need you guys to get the growth because I've got plenty of money to spend. I'm just waiting. They can you be upgraded soon? Uh, no, not yet. Soon. Probably could get another lord out. And they've all got different um, kind of subtitles: instigator, smuggler, murderer, plunderer, and that all link or fire so That all links in how you can keep their loyalty high. By basically following with the uh, sort of subtitles that they are. So plunderers gain loyalty from sacking and raiding. Probably go for murderer because gain loyalty from beating enemy army and wounding killing enemy lords in battle. Smuggler, mastermind is lowered. Income are from constructing pirate coves. Yeah, could could send you out there. If we really wanted to. Master. Let's, uh... Let's see what next turn has in store for us. Galleon's Graveyard can be upgraded, finally. We've got the money to do it. Note to self, if you want to take a Skull Island for, uh all its riches now, you uh, probably shouldn't do it with the starting army. Be at war with Tyrannoch. Okay, recruitment drive. Oh, it did say we would get missions to declare war, didn't we? From the depths, recruit a lord. Well, I was thinking about it, so we'll go for that murderer. Raise the loyalty of one of your lords above seven. The dark Close your corpse, yes please. Another one of those. We are replenishing at last. Uh, I can get more gunnery mob in here. Can't build anything else because it all costs growth, doesn't it? Eh. He gets fleet captains and more growth. But I think we probably should go... Oh, spa deck, that's going to take a while. So we want to upgrade this. I think it's tier 4s before we can get Death Guard again. Admiral of the fleet, I have arrived. We should act now. Spam them out, send you off, see if we can do anything. If we lose you, we lose you. Actually, we could use you to sc scout these guys, but actually, we there was... It was saying in the intro flyover that if we hit Araby, that could be a good uh, ground for... Oh, there's an island there. Was that there before? There's an island there. Could go for it. It's not a Skull Island, so it shouldn't be as bad. So send Nocturne. At least we're getting him loads of experience. Those guys are good. We just need regular infantry. Um, that can mob, I guess. Admiral of the fleet. Cool. Well, that's what we're doing. We did go up... Um, Above uh, Aranessa Salt Spite and uh, Xylostra Diaphin. It's just Harkon that's above us right now. So, Lionheart, how far did you get with the game's objectives today? Uh, I did not get far, yar. I was too busy hunting for treasure, ha-ha. 
we can we can afford to go negative because we literally have nothing else to spend this 27k on right now so I don't feel bad oh do we take attrition in the maelstrom what Want more bloated corpses damn it darkness comes How many space do we have? 14. Okay, we can hire some more. Just need some more infantry. So what I'm going to do is swap these over and send you back. To recruit some more. And then we can send Noctilus over towards that island next turn. And then we'll send this one scouting over to Araby. Or we could go to Kalidor. But I'm trying to think of their settlements. They've only got Vols Anvil and then some, I think, one or two other inland settlements. So I can't easily strike them and pull back. Ensure that one of the following buildings has been constructed Captain's Cabin. Okie dokie. So that's the next upgrade here. Oh, sun non-aggression pact with the Vampire Coast. Okie dokie. And recruiting shortage. Oh, great. Need to parlay. Nothing shall stop me. Noctilus. Can't reach that till yeah. next turn. Unless we... Can we force... I don't think you can force March into them anymore. Unless then we can upgrade to get the handguns and the bombers. Or do we wait five more turns to get the captain's cabin? How, is there a timer on that quest? Oh my god, so many missions. The ocean. No. So let's get that to get some better units. Master. Spam them out and then we'll send you across the sea next turn. Let's see if I can force march. Oh, there we go. Um, Better in campaign, better in battle. Let's go for arms and armor. Heavy iron. Lovely. Okay, now that we've taken that, let, I guess let's head over there. We could bring both armies, actually, to strike those Corsairs. Hopefully we can take them out. Definitely if we see any more bloated corpses and getting them. And we'll bring you along next turn as well. Searching for those maps at Vol's Anvil. The Scourge of Calador. Fleshy Fortune. Raise a gunnery right, uh, white or a capture a Morngull Haunter. Uh, I'm going to go for a Morngull Haunter. This we carry out a hero action. Campaign at movement range plus five percent. Lovely. You look insane. What can you do? You spread corruption, scavenge, post battle loot, specialist. So definitely going to pop you into an army. I don't think I'm going to pop you into this army for now. Oh, we carry out the action. Nice infamy increases. Upgrade that. Can't pop that in just yet. Um, oh, does that allow us to get uh, animated hulks? 
Oh, nice. And those let me get bloated corpses. Or we go for the mortar. Choices, choices. You guys let me know down in the comment section, because that's where we're going to wrap things up for this episode. We'll be sailing towards those Corsairs at the start of the next episode. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed part one. Also, if you haven't picked up the DLC yet, Curse of the Vampire Coast, then feel free to check out the link to Games Planet in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section, where if you live in the EU, they're currently running a deal right now where you can save up to 19% off the cost of the DLC, so long as you use the discount code TWVAMP5 at the checkout. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed part one. There'll be more out in a day or so's time. Until then, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take Prunge on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.